Hey there, curious minds. Welcome to our adventure into the amazing world of gravitational force. Have you ever wondered why things fall down instead of up? Or have you heard the saying, what goes up must come down? Let's explore these concepts and more in today's video. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, joined with my dad, Chavis Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we'll explore how gravitational force affects the motion of objects. So let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I will be able to describe and explain how gravitational force affects the motion of objects. I imagine you have a superpower that pulls things towards you. That's a bit like gravity. It's a force that pulls objects towards each other. Here on Earth, gravity is like a super strong magnet that pulls everything towards the center. When you throw a ball up, it goes up, 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 and then starts to come down. Why does it come down? That's because the Earth is pulling the ball down with the force of gravity. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground and makes things fall down instead of float away. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, what is gravity? Number two, why do things fall to the ground instead of floating away? Number three, what will happen if there is no gravity on Earth? Pause the video and take three minutes to write your responses. You got this. So does gravity affect everything? Yep. Even things as big as planets and as small as tiny toys. Gravity causes objects to accelerate or gain speed as they fall toward the center of the Earth. That's why you would rather have a tennis ball fall on your head from one foot above your head instead of 20 feet above your head. Which one do you think will hurt more? And the more massive an object is, like a big rock, the stronger the pull of gravity on it. That's why heavy things fall faster to the ground than light things. Gravity pulls them both down, but heavier objects have more weight to pull. Quick checks for understanding. Number one. Why would you rather have a tennis ball fall on your head from one foot above your head instead of 20 feet above your head? Number two, which one has more gravity, a car or a bike? Explain your answer in detail. Pause the video and take three minutes to write your responses. You got this. Did you know gravity isn't just on Earth? It's everywhere. Gravity helps planets like Earth move around the sun and keeps moons in orbit. Here's a fun fact. The bigger something is, the stronger is gravity. The more gravity a planet has, the more you will weigh, and the less gravity a planet has, the less you will weigh. Take a look at the following chart. This chart shows the gravitational pull of each planet in our solar system, and also has the gravity of the moon that orbits the Earth as well. What do you notice? Quick checks for understanding. Number one, which planet would you weigh the most on? Explain why. Number two, which planet, not including the moon, would you weigh the least on? Explain why. Number three, why does the moon orbit or move around the Earth instead of the Earth orbiting the moon? Pause the video and take four minutes to write your responses. You got this. In summary, gravity is why things fall down and stay on the ground. It's what keeps us grounded on Earth and even helps planets dance around the sun. It affects everything we do from playing ball to jumping up and down. The larger something is, the stronger is gravity. That's why we would weigh more or less on some planets, because some planets have more or less gravitational pull than others. Remember, what goes up must come down, all because of the force of gravity. Stay curious, young scientists. And that's our video for today. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results in your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better you keep, keep going, going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day.